All right, I'm going to admit it. This, this is just a little bit embarrassing. Watching as slowly but surely the wings that I tried to take out and fly on just make their way, make their way downstream and, and, and away from me. Yeah, a little embarrassing. Let's see if I can make it across the stream this time because we'll just follow the current. <laughs> But hello everyone, and welcome back to our adventures here in Tears of the Kingdom, where I have uh, just come away from the castle after informing everyone that they can stop risking their lives searching for me in there, because not there, spoilers, and neither is Zelda, and we're finally working our way back to camp, you know, after I tend to this Korok before I forget where he is. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's definitely a Korok. Suspicious, suspicious rock on top of a suspicious pile of very ancient ruins. Absolutely, definitely a Korok. Also, those are some beautiful birds. Look at them go. Wow. Oh, and speaking of all of the native ecology, I remember now there's actually something a little bit dubious and dangerous hanging out over there. And I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not close enough to, to actually mess with him right now. But... What? Oh my gosh! <laughs> do it again! Do it again! That was actually really funny! Especially because I can do this! <laughs> he thinks he's gonna hit me. Aren't you gonna be surprised? Yeah, what'd you think about that, huh? Like, we could play this game all day. It's kind of like catch, except you're catching this... this... Ew! Not that I thought about it, it's not really a rock, is it? Oh my gosh, look, and there he goes. Huh. Is that a rupee? Ooh, okay, well, that's a fish! <laughs> I have no idea what he was, and we'll have to go and visit with him in just a minute. Oh, there's Choo Choo! What are you doing here? I'm in the middle of a very, very important, like, Korok mission. Hello, little friend! Aren't you adorable? And just in time to go ahead and meet these choo-choo, I wonder if I can drop his rock on them. Because that'd be kind of interesting. Alright, what do you guys think about this, huh? Ah, I missed! Well, I guess I could do this. <laughs> this is kind of fun. I wonder if the Korok would think like, wow, what a game! Oh wait, okay, I need him to think that before the rock actually lands back on the Korok, don't I? Alright, alright, alright. All about timing. Nice. You know, I didn't think I would do a lot with rewinding time. Since he- oops, well. Aw, alright. I didn't think I'd do a lot with rewinding time when I first began this brave adventure. And let's see. <gasps> Choo Choo are the perfect thing to fight with a mop! Oh, you're kidding me. That actually works really well. <laughs> Oh, I love that. All right, well, we're cleaning things up around here, which is excellent. And we will be heading back to Pura in just a second, but I kind of need to go ahead and take care of the Korok that's under this, right here, under this bridge. I know it's there. Also, is this like a freaking wildlife preserve? Maybe it was the Royal Woods, because it's full of animals. That's amazing. I'm really glad to see that the ecosystem is doing so well. Also, wow. There's a lot of fish over here. Can I reach these things without getting too caught up in the stream? Whoa! Oh yeah, they're Octoroks! Ah, uh, having to revive memories of my studies in Ocarina of Time. I was just a wee child then, quite literally, actually. And so, these are the Octorok enemies. It's too acidic for cooking, but it's highly valued as ingredients for elixir. I should see what it turns into. Then a bass... Oh, and an eyeball. Attach one to an arrow to grant a homing quality to the arrow. <gasps> like keys? I will fight Octoroks all the time if I can get myself. <sighs> okay. Possibly not gonna fish like that. But if I would fight Octoroks all the time if I could get myself some more of the uh some more of the eyeballs, because they are extremely useful. And I actually wonder if a keys eyeball would hone in on this guy. Little friend, 
Do you have any idea how expensive these arrows are for me? And how hard they were to obtain? <gasps> oh, look at him! Okay, he's really cute. <laughs> Little guy, your name is going to be Moat. Because that's going to be Moat because we found him under the Moat Bridge. And then the one over there is going to be Mop. Because I learned that the Mop is actually a very good weapon to my surprise for you know i guess like cleaning up choo choo uh and i i enjoy the fact that we have now named one two three four five six seven gorok taking careful notes in my field notes of course to make sure that we can keep an eye on the development of our research studies out here in the fields uh also while we're over here and getting ready to maybe introduce ourselves to these bacoblins or are they up there huh well, we'll introduce ourselves to something around here, but I should probably think about making my weapons a little bit stronger. So let's see what we have for materials that we could fuse with. Oh, that's right. We have the Henox horn. Attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power. Ooh, that would be really cool. I bet that that's really, 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 really strong. Oh, man. Do I have a weapon that's strong enough to justify that? Mm, maybe the sturdy thick stick? High durability? Okay, you know what? If we're gonna have to go ahead and risk, like, using up this Hinox horn, which I am still extremely proud to have gone ahead and managed to get us, then let's put it on something that has extra durability so that it can stick around with us for a long time. 19! Okay. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> I, am, I am ready for a little bit of battle over here. And then we do have a spear... Hmm, what can I put on the end of it? A fire fruit is only good for like one poke, but I still think that that would be kind of cool. So let's go ahead and fuse that together. And then let's see. Whoops, I didn't want to drop that. And then we have the soldier's broadsword. So what's something else fun that we could fuse? Okay, the toenail. <laughs> Oh, you know, actually, I think uh, as tough as plate armor, this item increases the an arrow's attack power. What? Well, let's see. Arrowhead to increase attack power. Wow. Well, if that's going to be arrows, maybe I want to do a, a horrible horn to go ahead and create something. Hmm. That's kind of like a hammer. All right, let's see. <laughs> That's not bad. That's actually a nice sized hammer, a little bit more realistically sized for me too. Meanwhile, let's take out some of our shields. There we go. And, oh, for crying out loud. Do just a teeny bit more exploring. Wow, look at this. A teeny bit more exploring. Also, I think I can, hmm. Well, I have a lot of Korok fronds. And, okay, yeah, we don't need, we don't actually need this. I can't believe my Korok frond guster is stronger oh well oh wow there's a lot of weapons over here see i knew that being able to go ahead and raiding the area around the castle would be a good idea rusty broadsword i can definitely work with oh why are there korok fronds down here that raises a lot of questions that's really interesting. Why were were was it those those ducks that I saw earlier? All right, let's see. Castle Town Prison. Whoa, that sounds a little ominous. Also, it's a boat. No way. I wonder if it could actually take me like towards Pura and everyone, so then I can totally act like I wasn't just wandering off on my own to see what might happen. But I can't help it because, I mean, you get so rewarded for exploring. Let's see. Oh! <gasps> Hello, little friend! Oh, I got another one! <laughs> Hi, little guy! What are you doing here in the prison area? I, I guess I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add your name to the list. So let's see, little friend. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to name you Warden. So now we've run into Warden as well. Ah, see? Mm, Korok, um, 
Hmm, what do I want to be? Korok soil scientist today, which actually sounds, okay, kind of concerning now that I think about it. So let's just be a Korok ecologist as usual and take a little peek at, wow. By prison, was that actually just the nickname of a really peaceful place? Because there weren't a lot of people who needed to be in a prison. Because we have such a peaceful society, it surprised me to think that we would have needed a prison in the first place. Korok? <laughs> nope. <gasps> Duck! Ducks! Ducks! They're so cute! Look at them! Little duck butt in the air! Oh my gosh. I love the ones that feed like that. Oh, look at that guy. I love the ducks that feed like that because they, they're so fun. They're called dab, uh, dabbing ducks and that's when they kind of stick their head down under the water. And... <gasps> I'm calming little one! That's when they stick their head down under the water and, and they are kind of sifting around for food. <gasps> You guys! We found Ducky! That's gonna be your name, friend. Aw, oh, my friend and I got separated. Where's your friend? Oh! My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Okay, hang in there, little one. I've got a plan. First, the plan is going to be coming over here and grabbing some apples and possibly a whole bunch of, um... A whole bunch of eggs, because I kind of need the food. All right, there we go. And then I- oh, more apples. That's a lot of apples! And then I promise I will turn around like a good, dutiful Korok ecologist. Whoops. I wonder. I don't think it's faster to just- is it faster? Oh my gosh, wait, could I- could I just go around and like... Okay, this is not faster. But I think it's kind of funny. Then I can pick apples like with the ultra hand. Oh, I wonder if I... Come on, you? I mean that- I guess that's good for being able to try to make hard to reach things show up. Alright, let's grab you. Oh, and that's actually fire fruit! And don't worry, I haven't for Oh, and a mushroom! Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I have not forgotten that we have our little friend behind us. Just, you know, I was thinking about how we needed to restock on food. And here's the food! Like, abundant and beautiful and all around us. Don't worry, dear, I wasn't talking about you. Ooh, golden apple. Okay, and a mushroom. Ooh, and more apples! Hang in there, little, little Korok. I promise I'm gonna be turning around and coming back for you. I hope. No, I made a promise. I can make promises to many people, but I will keep my promises to Koroks. Okay, let's see. And then... Anything over here? What's that? That's suspicious. What's this? Okay, there's an axe here. It looked a little suspicious. But I guess it's okay. Wow, and this area is just really beautiful. It seems super peaceful. And it's just really abundant with wildlife and a lot of... Wow, like a ridiculous amount of food. And I'm pretty sure I just saw a Korok. Like, oh, there we go. I'm pretty sure I just saw a wee Korok flower around the corner here. Oh no, it was more fire fruit. Jeez, there's a lot of fire fruit here. I wonder why. And they, I mean, they grow on teensy little bushes. I would think that fire fruit would traditionally grow somewhere a little bit more. Hi, squirrels! Would traditionally grow somewhere a little bit hotter, maybe? Or even colder, like as an adaptation to go ahead and try not. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Okay, that's not ominous. <laughs> Jeez! Whoa! Um... I mean, I'm carrying a few metal things on me, but I think I'll be okay. Hello, boar. I know you, you probably can't hear me. <gasps> um... Okay. Okay. Maybe we'll keep moving. 
Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> is this Is this because I Oh, there's a there's a, a a bird nest in this tree, so I'll try to get up here. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I'm really hoping I'm not going to get hit by lightning. Um do I have like a wooden shield? Okay, that's the traveler shield, sturdy shield, animal height. Let's equip that. And then do I have This is when my mop comes in useful. Now I feel much less attractive to lightning and much more optimistic about being able to make it back to our little Korok buddy without getting turned into... Oh my gosh. I mean, that's really cool though. Also, now I'm kind of concerned that... Little... Okay, that's really cool. But I'm beginning to think it's intentional. I think it just destroyed this tree. Uh... Little Korok friend, I don't- oh my goodness. I don't know if you want my help at the moment, little Korok friend. Because I think that there may be some sort of angry god of lightning targeting me. Or just a really annoyingly skilled bokoblin. Alright, let's see. No bird nest in there. Okay. You know what I said about, you know, the little, little guy- that literally destroyed the tree! Um, is this why people take refuge from the rain? Because I get it now. And you know what? Okay, hang on, little buddy. You do need to reach your friend. And you're just out here in this, this like, lightning storm. Yeah. Ah, you scared me! Hmm. You're moving me? Then you must be able to see me. Be gentle, okay? I'm in a real pickle. I was traveling with someone and got separated. <laughs> oh. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. I'm so tired though. Oh my gosh. I wonder why the little guy didn't remember me. <laughs> Buddy, let's get you out of here. Because I'm really... I'm not liking the, the, the cut of these jibs and the look of these odds. Yeah, I know you need to reach your friend. I need to get you across... Okay, hang on, hang on. You know, I'm beginning to worry that putting him on a boat is maybe not the best idea. <laughs> So why don't we actually go grab a couple logs and make ourselves... Wait. That was literally the log I was running for. And the lightning literally blew up the log I was running for! And turned it into just a bunch of charred wood! That was a little bit too suspicious in my humble opinion. Because... Just as I said, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to make a bridge. The lightning just struck from the sky and destroyed my materials. And it's trying to do it again! Oh my gosh, did you see that? Another tree down! I wonder if I should find a well to jump into for a little while. Just in case. But I can't leave our little Korok buddy by himself out here. That's not kind. Hang in there, little friend. Oh, thank goodness. I think the thunderstorm is stopping. That was ridiculous. We almost had like fried Korok and I would not appreciate that whatsoever. All right. Is this actually long enough? Not remotely. However, hang in there, buddy. I want you to be able to reach your friend, too. I just want to make sure that we can do this somewhat securely. Hmm. I think maybe one or two more trees. Is this kind of silly? Is this a ridiculous way to go about it? Yes. However, I'm feeling a little bit more optimistic <laughs> and a little bit safer going ahead and trying to work with our little Korok friend by using a bridge at the moment. Let's see, let's hold this. Why? Well, because I want to. All right. Okay. Let's get a couple more trees. There's several dead ones after that storm. Whoops. I 
I need to- Oh, the, tra the Traveler's Axe is actually over there! I should go and get it at some point, but... Uh, that would require, like, a little bit more time than- Oops. There we go. I was thinking of putting into this Korok search and rescue, but... Little guys always know that we're there for them. Little guy, did you get stuck? No, there you are. Okay, good. I was worried that he already got stuck on here, but he's okay. All right. Don't worry. I'm probably going to, like, hand deliver you and hand walk you across the other side if all goes well. And I think if I legitimately hadn't managed to get a couple of these turned, we would have our bridge. If it was not an L shape. <laughs> Dang it! That's all right, because you know what I keep saying about these corals? Is that it's an important lesson in learning how to go ahead and figure out puzzles. One thinks the corals are just being cute and silly. No, no, no. They are preparing us through their research that they have us do with coral chemistry and ecology and biosciences and dentistry. They're helping us to go ahead and figure out how to solve the many other mysteries of life. Like, why did the Korok cross the river to get to his friend on the other side? All right. All right, come on. Why don't you... Whoops! Well? Are you going to stay log jammed? Nope. Really? Oh, no, you don't. All right, look. I see there's some raw materials over here. <laughs> I am absolutely going to do this the most silly way possible. It will help me develop new skills. There we go. And possibly send like various people into absolute spasms, but that's okay. I mean, you guys aren't here in the field with me. You're just reviewing the, the field notes. Which means that I had all of the freedom that I possibly wanted to do whatever chaos I thought was was a good idea. All right, so let's see. We're going to do this. And then this. And then go up. Okay. Up if I can. Like that. And that kind of makes like a weird... Okay, that's two up, I think. Because I wanted to make a ramp, but that's too much ramp. Oh, and there's those bokoblins! I don't know if I want them, like, watching over my little buddy here. Alright, hang in there, little friend! So, let's try this absolute monstrosity. Are you kidding me?! I am busy! Do you see that I have matters to attend to here, friends? <laughs> Oh my gosh, and now- are you kidding? Are you kidding? Literally my moth did better than the actual sword, but I guess that's because I had to use it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the moth's so good at cleaning that up. For crying out loud. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Can I actually- oh my gosh, I can actually like scoop the choo-choo jelly out of the water. <gasps> I wonder if I can fish like that. Can I just make like a giant fish scoop and just like- scoop fish out of the water with some sort of huge, really silly net that I build. All right, let's see. How about... I know you need to reach your friend, little one. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try one more time with angles. Angles are not gonna work. This is ridiculous. I could probably just, like, more or less jump in the river with him and get across faster or just actually use the boat. <sighs> but you know what? Turns out that the... The mop tech actually is the best way to fight choo-choos right now. So what other silly idea of mine might actually turn out to have a lot of benefit? Who knows? We won't know until we follow through on at least a few experiments. And so far no one's actually gotten hurt, except for the choo-choo, but we're not talking about that. Alright, hang in there, little one! Again? If this doesn't work, I think we might we might have to get a boat friend. Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right. Let's see. Nope, nope, nope. Other way. Ah. 
This brings back fond memories of when I was trying to go ahead and figure out how I could corner... Whoa, is it because it's heavy? Is that what's going on? No, there's something else going on when it comes to... This water, I think. That's unusual. Is it just the slope? Oh, hey, there's fish! I guess I could go ahead and test my, my theory. Huh. As long as I stay out of all of the water, will it let me put anything here? Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> Complete and utter chaos. Come along, come along, little one. I already forgot what I was going to name you. My precious, precious tiny Korok. But we're gonna go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Look. Look. At least, at least we're learning. <laughs> Oh, we're getting up there. Don't worry. We're getting up there. There, see? There you go, you two. I think I'm going to go ahead and name you, like, River and, 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 let's see. River and Lightning? Zolt? Let me think about this for just a second. This is a monumental moment, naming a Korok. I, I know I named him something very good a moment ago, but I completely forgot about it because then a bunch of lightning tried to strike me down from the sky. You know what? We're gonna go with Strike and River. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> that was fun. <laughs> Complete utter chaos and fun. <sighs> Alright. Well, like I said, promptly getting ourselves back to Pura. <laughs> But before we do that, I guess we have just a teensy bit more exploring to do here and there. Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. I didn't want to actually... Ugh. All right. And there are clearly more, like, biological life forms that we could do a bit more research on. And also some concerning arrows that are just falling from the sky. Huh. I'm not going to be careful about that. But we will get ourselves back across the river using our fancy new bridge technology. I'm actually getting a little worried about why are there so many arrows over here? Who knows? And we'll investigate that weirdness, I suppose. And then we'll have to see what misadventures we're going to get up to next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Whoa. This is just like the weird mystery arrows that we have in the Village of Light Narzu crafting. <gasps> I wonder if they're related. <laughs>